Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the Flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the Flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the Flutter and then the React Native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer we also have the course related to the full stack developer related to the uh, node.js express mongodb as well as the flutter over here and if you would like to join the uh, flutter bootcamp there is also a bootcamp course over here so make sure to go and check out the course over here there are free and then they paid codes and if you want to be a job ready flutter developer this is the course that you would want to take so see you guys on the next lesson till then have a great day let us continue with our lesson over here and in this particular lesson let us try to understand how to make use of the listener in the river part over here and for that i have already created one uh, screen over here basically two screen this is a user list screen and if i click to this particular floating action button it will puts me to add user screen where we can add the user over here right so let's just go in uh, currently it's not working but we need to set that particular functionality and i have already created that so this is a simple screen if you want you can just go and copy the code from the github repo as well and now once we have all of this set up what we will do over here is let's go to our view model that we have previously set up over here and here we have this state so this is the list of the users that we need to set right what i want to do is once i click the add the user i want to go if if the ad was successful then i want to navigate back to this particular screen otherwise what i want to do is i want to show an error over here so for that we'll use a river pod listener over here or the provider listener so let's go back over to our view model uh, sorry over here to the view model and let's go and create the void function over here that is to uh, add the user over here and here we are going to send in the uh, user model over here and let's just go and final i will just go and extract the old users first of all that will be of the state dot the uh, current users that we have that will give us the list of the current user or the old user and or you can just call this one as a current users right and now i can go and update the uh, state so let's just first of all i'll just go and say the state which is of equals to the state that copy with and let's just remove this one from here and i'll just go and update the loading is to be of the true over here right so let's just go and update the loading state for now currently we are not showing anything but we can actually go and listen to that one once we get that one what i can say the state will be of equals to the and here the state dot the copy and i'll just go and say the loading is of the false and then the users i want to um, create the new user list copied from the previous or the old user or the the previous user list and add in the current user that we have provided over here and now what we can do is let's go back to our add user and here once we click on this function we need to call that particular method in our the view model so let's go over here and i have already added if this is a valid or not so if it is valid i need to go and now uh, first of all i need to create the the user model itself over here let's just go and import this particular uh, the user model over here so the user and i guess that should be fine so now you can see the autocomplete or the helpfulness of the ai right so we are using the code in ai over here and you can see it's it is helping us to um, do all of the stuff over here that's pretty cool and once we create this particular user model what i can do is i can call the ref dot the uh, read right and if you want to call that particular function we need to make use of the read 
and let's just call the user provider that we have and here i need to call the notifier and add the user over here and then just pass in the user model that we have this is just a simple example over here right and what i want to do now is once i add that one over here i need to listen if that was success right so if i go to this particular let's go to this particular state currently i don't have any of the state to let me know that the the user was added successfully so for that let's just go and create the one more uh, variable over here and that will be of the let's say uh, let's just go and create the new one that will be of the each added over here each added over here and once i have that the default one each of the false or let's just keep it as the null label type or let's just keep it as a false for now and what i need to do is i need to go and run the build runner so flutter so we have the flutter pub run build underscore the runner build that's the d over here let's clear it out the all of the uh, previously generated files okay cool so now it has generated that state for us we have each added and let's go to the uh, view model over here and what i want to do over here is i also want to update the each added to be of the true since this is of the success so i'll just go and say the added was successful so now we can actually go and listen to this particular state in our add user screen so let's go and create the uh, new listener below this one so let's just go and add the avoid uh, and lisc and listener over here like T E N E R listener over here and here i'm going to listen to the ref dot the listen so if you can see we have the ref dot the listen and listen to a provider and call the listener whenever the value changes without having to take care of removing the listener so let's just go and listen to our provider so the provider will be our uh, i guess it's the user provider that we have and it will give us the two value one is of the uh, previous and then the next value sorry this should be of the comma this will be give us the previous and then the next value over here so let's just go and close this one over here so this gives us the user state you can see the previous user state and then the current user state this is the current next is the current user state right so you can see if you take it over here provider listener right and also has the error on air so let's just go and say that if the um let's just go and say if all right and then the next is the current uh, or you can just give it a state over here previous state and then the current state or something so let's just call this for now as the next dot the i'll say that it is of the uh let's say it's added over here if the added is the true over here right and if the added each of the true then i want to go and navigate back so i want to pop the uh, the current route right and navigate back to the previous screen so this is what it should do and actually if i go back to the my view model what i need to do is i need to update this one once uh, each added to the false by default right so whenever we call the add user i want to uh, reset the state or uh, each added to the false because here once it is successfully added uh, it will set it to the true over here right and also um, i guess that should be fine so let's just go and try to restart this particular application and uh, let's go back okay i guess we forgot something over here let's go back to our the add user screen so this is the listener but we haven't listen it right so we haven't called this particular function anywhere so what we need to do is to call that function we need to go to the build method and we need to call this one over here underscore the listener that we have over here or you can if if it is not not so big so you can just copy this particular thing or this particular code snippet over here over here as well right so just remember that the listener should be inside the build method make sure to go and check out the documentation about it 
about the listener and how you should listen it what you should do and what should not what you should not do with this particular listener basically uh, you just need to keep in mind that this should be inside the build method not inside any of the user triggered event right so when like the button click or something or in the init method or in the dispose it should be in the build method itself so the listener should be added in the in the build method like what we saw previously the ref dot the watch if you are using the ref dot the listener then you should also use it in in your build method as well so once we have this if this is working fine then we should navigate back uh, back to the previous screen if it is successfully added the user so now if i go to add a screen and let's just go and add the one over here and let's just go to the username i'll just give a random um, the, the data over here and let's just go and give something like the add and then the, this will be of the uh, dot the com or something right so let's just go and give to some random data over here let's just go and add the user and now you can see that we got that back over here like if i go over here and if i add the two over here and if i go and give some random and if i go and set this and let's just go and set some some kind of the okay so it should not be a space we don't have the actual validation over here uh, dot the com over here we don't have the validation for all of this this is not the class about the ui so let's just go and add that one and now you can see that it is uh, over here that's cool right so once the you can make use of the listener to something like so the dialog box or you can so navigate user from one screen to another so that in this case or in that particular case you can use the ref dot listen right so if you want to show a dialog box navigate to the another screen also some kind of the toast message based on that particular state changes right so you can actually make use of the rest of the listener and if you go to the list i have a, i have already watched it over here the this, this user and that is going to add it to our a list view or simple a list style that is written from the list view dot the builder over here so i hope you got the idea how we can make use of the uh, listener over here and uh, you can also i'll give you as a homework to just go and see if once you add the user once they reach an error uh, let's just go to our view model uh, sorry the state we also have the error state so if you update the error state somewhere over here you should see some kind of the uh, let's say a uh, dialog box pop up over here so this will be your particularly your homework you can add the dialog box or you can also add the the uh, let's see a toast message over here so that's all for this lesson and make sure to complete your homework and uh, we will meet up in the next lesson till then have a great day